The Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet, starring the entire Nelson family. Here's Ozzie. Here's Harriet. Here's David. Here's Rick. Here they are, America's favorite family, the Nelsons. Tonight's Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet is brought to you by your gas company, with pipeline companies and gas appliance and equipment manufacturers. For dependable comfort and modern convenience, gas makes the big difference. Cost less, too. Hello, I'm Jiggs Falkenberg, and this handsome gas range is the new double oven Magic Chef. Don't you like this eye-level oven broiler with its big picture window? Because it's gas, it seals in juiciness and flavor while it broils, and it bakes beautifully. Both ovens broil as well as bake, and both have keep warm ovens. First, your roast is cooked perfectly. Then these keep warm controls automatically turn the oven down to true low temperature. That's an exclusive gas feature. And your roast is kept moist and juicy for hours if necessary, never overcooked or dried out. This magic chef does everything but plan the meals. Why not get one for your family at your gas company or dealers? Remember, for clean, modern cooking, gas makes the big difference. Costs less, too. Dobson Kelly. Oh, good morning, Mr. Kelly. How was your flight? Oh, good. Uh, how is everything going? Oh, good. Uh, David? Uh, sure. Would you hold on just a second? Uh, here he is, Mr. Kelly. Good morning. Oh, hi, Rick. Well, that ought to go down as one of the all-time good mornings. Oh, I'm sorry. It's Mr. Kelly on the phone. He wants to talk to Dave. Well, didn't he come in yet? No. Here, stall him a little. Good morning, Mr. Kelly. Uh, no, this is Rick. How was your flight? Oh, well, that's good. Uh, how's everything going? Good. Oh, uh, David? Uh, yes, sir. Oh, uh, here he is, Mr. Kelly. It's Mr. Kelly. Oh, thanks. Hi, Mr. Kelly. Uh, no, sir, I just got in. How's everything going? Oh, sure. <laughs> okay, I'll mail them right out to you. Yes, sir? Okay, I'll tell them. Bye. You told me to be sure and thank my two loyal friends. Don't mention it. Oh, the Walmart Corporation reports are ready to go, aren't they? Yes, they are. He wants me to check them over and send them right out. Would you take care of that for me, please? Right away. Uh, Rick, would you get the Walmart Corporation reports out in the files, please? Check them over and mail them out right away. Well, there's one thing about this office. I've got no place to go but up. Good morning, good morning. I have an appointment with Mr. Nelson. Oh, well, I'm David Nelson. You must be Mrs. Harrison. Oh, yes, that's right. Mr. Kelly's told me a lot about you. Won't you come in the office? Thank you. Was that supposed to be Mrs. Harrison? That's what she said. Well, it can't be. What do you mean? Well, Mrs. Harrison is a much older woman. Tall, rather stout, but more of the club woman type. Well, how do you know? Have you ever met her before? Well, no, but I've read a lot of correspondence from her, and that's not the way I had her picture. You had me worried there for a minute. Well, you know what I mean. Haven't you ever had a preconceived idea of what somebody looks like? Yeah, and then you meet the person, you find out she doesn't look anything like what you expected. No, not necessarily. In fact, I've been right more times than I've been wrong. I had you pictured exactly as you are. Oh, you did, did you? Well, yeah, you can ask David. I said you were very young and attractive with big brown eyes and a beautiful figure. Okay, give me the papers. I'll mail them for you. Thank you. <laughs> Very nice meeting you, Mrs. Harrison. We'll take care of that right away for you. Oh, thank you very much. I hate to rush you like this, but I'll only be in town for a few days. That's perfectly all right. Don't worry about it. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Well, that's one way to make your nephew happy. What do you mean? Mrs. Harrison's transferring about $20,000 to her nephew's account. $20,000? That's right. You mean the real Mrs. Harrison or the one you were just talking to? What's this? Oh, she's just putting me on. I was just saying, I didn't think Mrs. Harrison would look like that. I thought she'd look different somehow. In what way? I don't know. Uh, maybe a little older. Uh, just different. A different type. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you. Here, Rick. Here's your 
Hey, wait a minute. Mrs. Harrison doesn't have a nephew. Now what are you talking about? The real Mrs. Harrison doesn't have a nephew. At least I've never seen one mentioned in any of the correspondence. And I've seen practically all of it. Well, what does that prove? You've probably never seen any mention of a Siamese cat, either. She's giving some money to a Siamese cat? <laughs> I don't even know if she's got a cat. But just the fact that she's never mentioned one doesn't mean she doesn't have one. Are you talking about the nephew or the cat? Both. And this whole thing doesn't seem strange to you? I mean, Mr. Kelly's the only one who's ever seen Mrs. Harrison, and he's conveniently out of town. Well, so what? Why, and all of a sudden this woman shows up and wants to transfer $20,000 to some nephew we've never heard of. You know what I think? I think you ought to stop watching those old movies on the Late Late Show. <laughs> Say I didn't warn you. Would you put these in the Harrison file, please? Okay. And be careful not to smudge any of the suspicious fingerprints. Be careful of the fingerprints when you file these. I'll try. Take a look at this, will you? What is it? Well, here are the stock transfers she just signed, and here's a letter she signed about six months ago. Check the signatures. They look the same to me. I'm not so sure. Notice anything? Yeah, you've been biting your fingernails again. <laughs> Well, I think that happens quite often. You get a preconceived idea of what somebody looks like, and then when you meet him, he looks entirely different. That's what happened when I met your father, but I married him anyway. Thank you. I'm glad. <laughs> Hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. Have something to eat with it. Oh, no, thanks, Mom. June's expecting me home for dinner, but you guys go ahead. Well, Rick's having some coffee. Why don't you have some? Okay, fine. Thanks. If you stop by to tell him about the big joke at the office, you're too late. I've already told them, and they agree with you. Well, before you turn in your badge and your fingerprint kit, there's been a ridiculous new development in the case. What's that? I'm beginning to agree with you. You're kidding. No. See here? She didn't dot the I in this one, and she did over here. Well, where'd you get those? Miss Edwards showed them to me. Well, she was laughing at me when I left. That's nothing. I was laughing at her when she left, but here I am. And they had a Harris, and they look about the same to me. Yeah, but this is the only time she didn't dot the I in all the correspondence I've looked at. Of course, she did cross the T's a little differently. Uh, can I take a look at that? Right here. You see how this one goes all the way across and this one kind of trails off? Well, that doesn't prove anything. She might have been in a hurry. I'd be in a hurry, too, if I were stealing that much money. <laughs> but she did seem kind of nervous. She was only in the office about five minutes. Well, uh, why did she come in the office? Well, she wants to transfer a lot of money to her nephew's bank account in Mexico City. Mexico City? Look at these E's. This one's open, and this is kind of closed over here. Yeah, it was a pretty good time to come in, too, with Mr. Kelly out of town. Well, we have her home phone number, don't we? Why don't we put in a long-distance call? I tried that all afternoon. There was no answer. Of course, that doesn't prove anything. She could just be out. Yeah, I know that. Well, couldn't Mr. Kelly give you a description of her? Oh, well, yeah, but he's checked out of his hotel for a couple of days. He's gone fishing. Well, there must be some way he could check up on her. No, I thought if we could get another sample of her signature without her knowing it had anything to do with the law office, it might catch her off guard. Yeah, that sounds good. Well, or if it is somebody else, she might even sign her real name. At least it gives us another signature to compare with the ones we have on file. Yeah, but how are you going to get her to sign something? You can't just go up to her and ask her for her autograph. Well, I wouldn't be able to do it anyway. She'd recognize me. Well, she wouldn't recognize me. I don't think she even saw me. What's wrong with me? I could help out. Well, where's she staying? Well, I've got the address right here. She's staying at a friend's house. Some people have gone to Europe. Well, she sure had it all figured out, didn't she? If she stayed at a hotel, she would have had to register. And we still haven't figured out how we're going to get her signature. I'll get it. Hi, Mrs. Nelson. Well, hello, girls. Come on in. Good evening. Good evening. What can I do for you? Would you like to buy a ticket to an art exhibit? Being sponsored by Troop 179. I sure would. How much are they, Pete? 25 cents. I'll take two. Thank you. And would you sign here, please? Oh, what's this for? That's for the door prize. Oh. Good evening. Hello. Uh, would you like to buy a ticket to an art exhibit? It's being sponsored by Troop 179. Well, I guess so. How much are they? Uh, 25 cents a piece. All right, just a minute. Here you are. I'll take four. Oh, thank you. Would you sign here, please? 
What's that for? It's for the door prize. Oh, no, thank you. I'll just donate the money. Oh, well, that's not fair. What if you should win? Well, then just give it back to the girls. I expect to be leaving town in a few days anyway. Oh, well, uh, won't you sign so that the girls will know who donated it? Well, okay. Here you are. Thank you. Uh -huh. Good night. Good night. Got it on. Yeah, right here. Oh, great. Let me see it. Are you kidding with this? What's the matter? She write the wrong name? It's Henrietta Harrison, but she printed it. Oh, no. Well, at least she bought four tickets. <laughs> Good evening, madam. I represent the Abdullah Handwriting Analysis Society as a special introductory offer. I should like to analyze your handwriting absolutely free of charge. Would you just sign your name here, please? I wouldn't be interested. Thank There's you. There's no charge, madam. <laughs> hey, that was pretty good. Come on, let's get going. Now, wait a minute. I'm not sure I want to go through with this. Oh, no, you don't. You can't back out now. You've already accepted the bribe. Okay, okay. Yes? Ah, good afternoon, madam. I'm from the Community Welcoming Committee. I've come to welcome you to the neighborhood. I have a bundle of goodies here from your local merchants. Oh, oh that's very nice. Here's a couple I... of attractive potholders from Smith's Hardware Store. Here's a handy shoe shine kit. Uh, here's a dandy can opener and a couple of polishing cloths from Duffy Super Service. <laughs> well, I really can't accept these. You see, I'm only staying here for a couple of days and I... Oh, well, that's just the point. We want you to enjoy your stay here. Here's a handy yardstick, uh, some coat hangers from the closet shop, and here's a kitchen blackboard with the names of your local merchants printed on the side. Oh, <laughs> oh not at all. It's my pleasure. Now, if you'll just sign this receipt so the merchants will know I'm doing my job. I don't think I can get my hands free. Would you mind putting my name down for me? Oh, not at all. Now, that's Henrietta. Henrietta. Henrietta Harrison. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Let me get that. Uh, bye. <laughs> Don't wait to be told. You need palm olive gold. First continuous action deodorant soap that's palm olive mild. An antibacterial soap that's good to your skin. Use daily. Palm olive gold protects against odor causing bacteria all day, all night. Gives you a golden, healthy glow. Don't wait to be told. You need palm olive gold. It's a giant white tornado! It's so big! What did they do to it? They made Ajax stronger. It's the new white tornado. It's concentrated with ammonia. Oh, you'll have to scrub that dirt. Not with Ajax. It's strong enough to take up the worst kind of dirt. There it goes again! New Ajax liquid cleans the whole floor without rinsing. Cleans everything like a white tornado. Well, one thing's for sure. Done a pretty good job of not signing anything. Uh, Harriet, telephone. And don't bother answering that. I'll get it in here. <laughs> Probably for you anyway. Hello? Oh, hi, Clara. Say, how would you and Ozzy like to go out to dinner with Joe and me tonight? Oh, that sounds fine. I'll ask him. Wait a minute. Ozzy? Yeah? Clara and Joe are going out to dinner tonight. They want us to join them. Oh, well, uh, not tonight, huh? I'd, I'd like to get this thing settled. That's okay, Pop. Go ahead. No, uh, besides, uh, we just went out to dinner last week. It was last month. Well, last <laughs> week, last month. I know we just went out to dinner. I'm having a little trouble here, Clara. Maybe I'll let Joe talk to Ozzy. Oh, that's no good. I was hoping Ozzy would talk to Joe. He doesn't want to go either. You know what we need is a special day when husbands have to take their wives out to dinner. I'll buy that. You buy what? Nothing, dear. Pardon me, Dad. 
Must be something any woman would sign. Hey, that's an idea. You gotta take us out for dinner tonight. It's Wives' Day. <laughs> wives' Day? Are you kidding? I don't think he's gonna buy it, Clara. <laughs> I know. There's Washington and Lincoln and Santa Claus. Well, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Harriet? Yeah? Come on now, you don't just say Washington, Lincoln, and Santa Claus and walk away. What were you talking about? Well, Clara thought it might be a good idea to have a wise day. After all, look at all the days they have honoring men. There's Washington, Lincoln, Santa Claus, Father's Day, Columbus, St. Patrick, Mickey Mantle, King Kamehameha. <laughs> I'm sorry I asked. In fact, I think we ought to get up a petition naming one day a year as wise day. I bet you every woman in town would sign it. Hey, wait a second. I including Henrietta Harrison. That's it. That's how we get her signature. A petition for Wise Day. Hey, Dave? Rick? <laughs> what are you doing? Well, we're just adding a few names to this petition to make it look official. Nobody likes to be the first one to sign. Well, I'll sign it. I'm a housewife. Uh, I don't know. Uh, if this woman really is a forger, this is liable to wind up as police evidence. Forgery's a crime, you know. <laughs> Good one. How about Clara Randolph? Clara Randolph. <laughs> so we thought at least one day should be set aside in honor of the wives of America. And we decided to call it Wives Day. How nice. Thank you. So I was hoping you'd be interested in signing our petition. Oh, well, I'm not sure I'm eligible. You see, I don't live here. I'm just visiting. I'm from out of town. Oh, uh, that's perfectly okay. Well, you sure now? I wouldn't want my signature to make the petition invalid or something. Oh, no, I wouldn't worry about that. I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay. Wait a minute. I've got some friends of mine inside, and I'm sure they love to sign this. Won't you come in for a minute? Oh, okay. Girls? Ricky! Oh, hi, Miss Randall. Oh, do you two know each other? Oh, sure, we're practically neighbors. I didn't know you knew each other. Well, we haven't actually met. Well, Rick, this is Mrs. Harrison, Rick Nelson. Hi. How do you do? Henrietta and I are old friends. In fact, I used to take piano lessons from her mother. Oh, <laughs> And this is Mrs. Foster. How do you do, Rick? How do you do? Rick's a lawyer, you know. Oh, really? Oh, well, not exactly. I'm just a law clerk. I'm studying law. Well, it's practically the same thing. And his brother's a lawyer. He's with Dobson and Kelly. David Nelson? That's right. Oh, of course. I just had a meeting with him a couple of days ago. You're kidding! No, Mr. Kelly's been my attorney for years. Well, I don't want to take up any more of your time. It's nice to have met you. Wait a minute. What about the petition? Rick's got a petition here he wants us to sign. Oh, well, no, that's okay. Well, don't be silly. It's a wonderful idea. They want to establish a special day for wives, you know, like Mother's Day, and call it Wives' Day. Hey, that is a wonderful idea. Well, isn't that strange? I thought of the same thing myself. In fact, I mentioned it to your mother. <laughs> Wouldn't you girls like to sign it? I certainly would. Oh, me too. Wait a minute. I've already signed this. <laughs> And you didn't get Mrs. Harrison's signature? Well, yeah, I got it, but we don't need it. She's the real Mrs. Harrison. Mrs. Randolph positively identified her. It seems they're old friends. You realize, of course, you've tied up the whole office for two days with this crazy idea of yours. Me? Well, who signed these names here? Betty Ferguson, Mrs. May Waffleberry, Susan B. Anthony? <laughs> okay. Now, let's get the office back on schedule again, shall we? We've got a lot of work to do. Oh, wait a second. We've got a few complications on our hands here. What are you talking about? Well, it seems that the ladies went for this wise day idea in a big way. I tried to tell them it was sort of a joke, but... Well, I'll let them tell you the rest. Okay, ladies. Oh, fine. <laughs> we want you to know, Mr. Nelson, we're behind your petition 100%. Oh, thank you. We certainly are. This is Randolph. I hope you don't mind. We found a few of our friends. Isn't it wonderful the way it's catching on? Uh, hi, Mom. We were hoping you'd be willing to talk to the idea. You know, handle the campaign. Oh, well, uh, gee, thank you, but I really don't think I'll have enough time. Oh, David, don't be so modest. Girls, we said we needed a chairman. Here he is. <laughs> I wonder whether I should quit now or wait till he comes out and fire me. Are you kidding? I think it's a wonderful idea. Where's the petition? I want to sign it. Hi, Jack. Have you seen my brother? Who's that? Never mind, I see him. Now remember, Dave, no violence in the malt shop. Can I bring you something? Uh, yeah, I think I'll have a chocolate malt and a couple of aspirin. Oh, hi, Dave. 
Do you realize I spent an hour and a half talking to those silly females? Please, one of those silly females is my mother. <laughs> We're trying to run a law office. At least that's what I'm getting paid for. Yeah, and you're doing a beautiful job. And never mind the soft soap. What's Mr. Kelly going to say when he comes back and finds out I've been spending my time being chairman of the Wives' Day Committee? Look, you're worrying about nothing. That's not the only thing. You realize that most of our clients are men, and married men at that. You can imagine how popular this is going to make me with them. Wives' Day. Look, maybe if we don't say anything more about it, it'll just die a natural death. I hope you're right. You haven't said anything to anybody about it, have you? <laughs> I did mention it to one guy. <laughs> you know how women are. They'll probably forget about it in a couple of days. In fact, they've probably forgotten about it by now. Oh, I hope you're right. You're still in there when I left. I had to duck out the back door. Get a picture of him working at the desk. Right over this way, Mr. Nelson, please. Pardon me, folks. Can we get through here with the television camera? Uh, could you tell us, Mr. Nelson, how you got the idea for Wives' Day? Well, gee, uh, I really... Mr. Mr. Nelson, do you think that Wives' Day will attain the same status that Mother's Day has? <laughs> I really don't know. Do you have something against mothers? Oh, no. Some of my best friends are mothers. <laughs> uh, do you think that husbands will resent this? Well, I hope not. Some of my best friends are husbands. <laughs> David Nelson of law firm of Dobson and Kelly, chairman of Wives Day Drive. Well, at least you got a nice smile on your face, which is more than I can say for you right now. <laughs> well, let's get to work. Were there any calls this morning? Oh, yes. Now, the president of the downtown women's club wants you to speak at their luncheon tomorrow. She saw you on television and thinks you're just darling. Uh, the West Side Ladies Auxiliary is having a brunch in your honor. That's the day after tomorrow. Oh, the little Dutch tea room phone and offered you free lunches. You'll probably have to sit by the window. <laughs> more, shall I go on? You know something I can remember when we used to practice law around here. Dobson and Kelly. Is this David Nelson? Yes, it is. Well, I'm speaking for the girls at the Palisades Knitting Club, and we voted to send you a gift. A gift? That's right. And here it is. We love you, David. Oh, yes, we do. <laughs> Another vote for the women. Hello? Hello, is this David Nelson? Yes. <laughs> I just heard from the other side. From now on, I hereby put you in full charge of all business relating to Wives' Day. Me? That's right, unless you prefer to assign the duties to somebody else. <laughs> and don't forget the free lunches. Hey, wait a second. This is illegal. I demand a lawyer. Dawson and Kelly. Oh, yes, ma'am. Just a moment. Rick, it's for you. She wants the chairman of the Wise Day Committee. Hello? Oh, yes, ma'am. What can I do for you? Is this the headquarters of the Wise Day Committee? Uh, uh, yes, I, I guess it is. Here, I'll take that. Sign here, please. Uh, yes, ma'am. Thank you. Well, thanks very much for calling. This is from the Florist Association. They'll be glad to do anything they can to help promote Wise Day. Hello. Wise Day Committee. This is from the Ladies Gift Shop. We love your idea. Oh, thanks very much. From Betty's Lingerie. Hooray for you. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> the same goes for Hadley's Candy Store, Aunt Bonnie's Bon Bon Shop, and Harry's Bar and Grill. Hello, Wise Day Harry's Committee. Harry's Bar and Grill? <laughs> yes, well, thanks very much for calling. Goodbye. Well, the word's sure getting around about this. Hello, Wise Day Committee. Wise Day Committee. Telegram. I get it. Yes, that's right. Oh, well, thank you very much. Police for me? That's right. Uh, Hello, thanks. Wise Day Committee. Oh, well, thank you. I'll tell him. Well, uh, we hope so. Yes, yeah, thank you very much. And goodbye. Yeah, thanks very much. Yes, ma'am. Bye. Councilman Wiley is willing to let us use his name if we'd like to call it Wiley's Wives Day. <laughs> Wise Day Committee. Oh, yes, just a moment. The mayor's office. Uh, yes, would you put him on, please? I'll take it my office. Now, just a second. I thought you appointed me chairman. Oh, okay. Thanks. <laughs> Hello? Uh, yes, this is the chairman speaking.
Oh, well, let me see if my calendar's clear. Yes, sir, that'll be fine. Oh, and uh, thank you for your support. Uh, yes, sir. Goodbye. Well, the mayor's behind it 100%. He's going to issue a proclamation making Wise Day official. And would you make a note of this? He wants to have lunch with me tomorrow. <laughs> I'll get it. It's probably for me. Wise Day <laughs> Oh, well, yes, uh, put him on. It's the governor. The governor? Yeah, do you mind if I take this in your office? Oh, no, you don't. I've taken this one. <laughs> I'm the chairman. You were the chairman. <laughs> oh, uh, yes, sir. Oh, this is David Nelson. Uh, yes, I'm the chairman. Oh, uh, <laughs> thank you. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir, I'll be available anytime you say. Okay. Bye. How oh, about that? They're going to introduce a bill to make Wise Day a state holiday. Hey, that's great. I sure started something. You? I thought I started it. Well, whoever it was. <laughs> Dobson Kelly. Well, that's right. <laughs> thank you. It's Washington calling the White House. What? Uh, yes, this is Dave. How's everything going? Gee, he heard about Wife's Day and he thinks it's great. Okay. Oh, okay, I'll take care of it right away. Uh, yes, sir. Goodbye. That was a president? The president of the United States? Are you kidding? Of course not. That was Mr. Kelly. He heard about the idea. It came over the radio on the news. He thinks it's great publicity. I you said it was Washington called. Yeah, the White House. That's right. I told you he went fishing. He's staying at the White House Motel. That's just north of Seattle, Washington. <laughs> oh, uh, by the way, he left a big bundle of dirty shirts on his kitchen sink, and he wants me to drop them by the laundry. Uh, do you suppose you could take care of that for me? Okay. Here's the key. Oh, Rick. Okay. Dirty shirts. Well, at least everything's back to normal. <laughs> The world of tomorrow is cooking with gas. Right, Jinx Falkenberg? Naturally, just as nearly all of America's fine restaurants do, 99% of the restaurants at the New York World's Fair use gas for cooking. Whether you're dining here at the top of the fair, eating a marvelous Italian dinner, a delicious smorgasbord, an exotic Indian curry, great French cuisine, or delicious regional dishes here at Festival 65, the American restaurant in the Gas Pavilion, all the cooking is by gas. Why not have in your own kitchen the same fast, cool, clean, controlled gas cooking that fine chefs insist on? Live modern for less with gas. Tonight's Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet was brought to you by your gas company. For dependable comfort and modern convenience, gas makes the big difference. Costs less, too. Ask us Nelsons. <laughs>